New England had another show last night in the sky. Did you see it? The Northern Lights seen through the lens of our drone in Nashua, New Hampshire, just oh, wow. red and green, perfect for the holidays. So let's bring in meteorologist family Gardner now. So a lot of us are thinking, wait a second, I walked outside and I did not see that. Can you explain what's going on here? You probably saw something like that. Yes. Dark sky, dark skies, skies, clouds, yes. maybe a little tinge of green, some purple, something going on. And then you had the three second exposure and night mode on your camera phone. And that's what's in the sky. So that is the exact same look, the same view that I took yesterday along the South Shore. Uh, you could kind of see it, but uh, the camera really gave us a picture of what's actually going on going on. And so if you want to head out later tonight in between the clouds, you can still capture some of the northern lights with your phone or your camera and always do that. That's what I always do. Even if you don't see anything, it might still be there, but you have a 20 minute heads up on it on most nights here. We still have a storm going on, so we may be hit with one of those solar flares yet again tonight. Northern lights picture here. This one showing tons of color. The colors mean something in the atmosphere when the solar storm really operates in our atmosphere here. The nitrogen at low altitudes of 60 miles above the ground, that's where you get the blues and the purples. Oxygen interacts with that solar flare, low altitude of 150 miles, but then higher in altitude, similar 150 miles above the ground, you get the reds. That's oxygen interacting. So some cool stuff as we have some high K numbers, about seven possible for tonight. So that would put the aurora almost directly overhead, similar to what we saw yesterday. We'll see if that does indeed happen Thursday into Friday. Then it lowers, still possible, but uh, it, it was just spectacular last night. As long as you took a picture of it, then you could really get, get it. If we look at first alert live radar, clippers moving by, and that's producing some snow showers. It brought us a good clip of some flurries this morning. That has, for the most part, dried up. A few flurries, maybe around Worcester and Connecticut, and a couple of sprinkles, too, across the Cape and the islands. While the wind picks up today, we see some breaks in the clouds and some sunshine. Temperatures in the 40s, but it will feel like the 30s for much of the day. Meanwhile, up north, some of the ski areas experiencing additional snow accumulation amounts of about one to three inches, three to five higher elevations from Mother Nature, and the snow guns will be out and working. And that's good news because a lot of ski areas will be opening in the next several days here. Sunday River, approximate opening on November 13th. Uh, tomorrow, November 22nd for Akimo, Stowe, Sunapee, and Bretton Woods. I've been up on Sunapee. love to go early in the season as opposed to late in the season. It gets too icy for me. So, Today's high temperatures in the 40s, and we expect some sunshine before tonight's lows drop in the 30s and 40s, and we have a nice early sunset right before 430. High temps for tomorrow in the 40s again, and a dry day for most of us, even more so than what we saw today. As temps will be near 50 degrees, light breezes will be around yet again as an area of low pressure exits. Another area of low pressure looks to move in for the second half this weekend. Now it is tracking farther to the north, and it's trending a bit milder than what we showed you yesterday. So with that, less snow for Boston, but there will be some wind and some rain that pushes through for part of the weekend. Mountain snow showers likely to stay in the mountains as of right now. If that changes, we'll keep you updated. Here's a look at that 10-day forecast. Brighter days ahead, but we're not warming up much at all. Temperatures for most of the 10-day remaining in the 40s. Oof, okay, here we're there. It's time.